Okay, so today I bought a Springfield XDM 40 caliber subcompact, and this is the unboxing. Um, I've of course already checked it and made sure it's exactly what I wanted before I left the show, but I haven't really gone through it yet. So as you can see, it comes in a nice carrying case with a lot of accessories. Um, here I'm sure we have the uh, test fire round or casing. We have a Springfield XD uh, safety lock along with the tools. You have an Allen wrench in here and then a brush and of course the keys for the uh, uh, lock itself. We have the XD gear speed loader and one thing I do like about this it actually has a rail mount on it so you could uh, mount it onto the firearm if you wanted to for some odd reason or on the side of the case here uh, on each side actually it has uh, the Picatinny rails whenever you close the case that this would actually snap onto um, it's pretty handy okay then you have your magazine holster um, belt holster on the side of this it also has the Picatinny rails so I'm sure it probably makes the most sense to go ahead and just snap this on here as you're at the range and then you have your speed loader also on the side of your belt it's pretty handy okay then you have your XD gear uh, paddle holster and uh, I'm sure the fire in, firearm just snaps in there nicely I've used these before work very well then you have your long magazine uh, extensions and there are going to be three different ones um, for matching up with the the back of the grip depends on which insert you put on the grip uh, to make the magazine match uh, the grip on the gun itself I can kind of show you so as you can see these these are all different um, the one that's on there is the medium uh, uh, grip extension and then this one is the shallow one and this one is the, the thickest and uh, so that means that the firearm actually has the medium installed on it this right here would be the thicker one, here's the thin one, and the one that's in the back of the, uh, the grip is going to be in between these two. Put those back in there so I don't lose them. And they just slide on and off here. This is actually pretty tight, but... And then you can change it out just like so. This is a 16 round magazine for the 40. I'll just go ahead and keep the medium on there for now. Then you also have your 11 round magazine that would uh, fit within the handle of the firearm. Before I do anything, as always, do a safety check. It's clear. So that magazine fits flush with the handle. That is the 11 round magazine. If you want a better grip, then you have the extension with the 16 round magazine giving you a pretty full size grip there. So it's ambidextrous, so you can push on either side. All right, so to kind of go over the firearm, um, this is the compact version, XDM 3.8 inch barrel, 40 cal, and uh, uh, it's pretty standard to most XDMs out there. Um, it's got the safety on the back, you got the trigger safety in the center of the, of the trigger, similar to a Glock. You have the ambidextrous um, magazine releases right here on both ends. You have the uh, slide lock, this is the takedown pin. And uh, then one thing I do like about this in comparison to my Glocks is 
uh, when the hammer is cocked, you get this pin up, which you can actually feel by touching the back of the slide here. Uh, that little metal pin right there is the indicator. If you actually had a round in the chamber, then there's a little piece right here, the center pin would pop up. It kind of rocks upwards uh, towards the front of the gun. Um, then you know if, number one, you have a round in the chamber, number two, is the, if the hammer is actually cocked. So I do wish that Glock had something like that because it's kind of a mystery. Uh, but then again, you should know your firearm and, and know if it's loaded or cocked or, or whatnot. So, um, so this is a Springfield Armory. You do have the, the three dot sights. Um, more than likely, I'll change those out for some of the Trigicons uh, later on down the road. And uh, one thing I wanted to do, I also picked up a, uh, a, Scherf, or a Streamlight M3X uh, tactical illuminator. And all you want to do to install it is clip it on the end of the firearm. And to uninstall, it's the opposite. You pull down these, that pin, and that would actually remove it. Um, and then, as you can see, it's very simple to uh, push up or down on the on the flashlight. And down on this side is burst. Up locks it on, so uh, it can be operated from either side. And I like it. It sits right in front of the trigger guard, like in the perfect spot where. Your hands where it should be, unless you're ready to fire, you're resting on the knob. So that's to me is a perfect location for a flashlight. It gives you control, opposed to having a pressure grip. Um, you can turn on and off intentionally, very simply. Uh, I, I do actually like this firearm quite a bit, along with this light mount on it. Makes a good headboard uh, weapon in case you hear something around in the house at night. So. That's pretty much it. That is all the stuff that comes with the XEM. Oh, actually there is one more thing. Up here in the lid, they have the all the paperwork. So it's just a brochure showing some of the details about the firearm. And instructions on the paddle holster and uh, the warranty card. It's all the boring stuff. The operator, operations and safety manual. Definitely should go over that and get used to it if you haven't owned these before. It's going to give you all the details on how to clear malfunctions and firing it and safety and what you should and shouldn't do. And it'll probably go over a lot of what I just talked about. Here's the chamber indicator and the striker status indicator. Um, so it's good to thumb through. It's a very simple, quick read. So there's no reason not to, to look it over. And then here's a precaution tag or warning label, I guess you would say, for it. Risk or injury or death by mishandling firearm. Should be pretty obvious. That's a possibility. So, that is pretty much it. That is an XDM 40 cal subcompact. Very, very similar to the 9, which I also have. And uh, very happy with my purchase. So, I highly recommend this firearm. It has its pros and cons over Glocks, but they've really come a long way with these, and they are very pleasant to, uh, to fire. That's it. It's all packed back up.